Hello everybody, welcome back and today I would like to show you this uh, little sideboard that we found and it's not in a greatest of shape I mean there's uh, a lot of damage on it but uh, well let's start from the top so you can see the part of uh, the varnish is gone completely and it uh, has cracks all over the place uh, even though you can see the veneer underneath looks really nice it is pretty damaged. It's been neglect neglected for years. So, as you can see, some of the rings from uh, hardware is are missing, and well, it's not looking pretty. Uh, see, the the rings are not in, a, in the greatest shape. We'll see whether we can salvage this. Inside is not that bad, but it does smell. Uh, it does smell. It's 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 really bad. Uh, the drawers inside as well, not too bad. We'll, we'll get them refreshed, and may and, uh, and I hope we'll get rid of the smell when we will get uh, when we start working on it. And this is the maker. Uh, I hope I'm reading this right. Bubbers of Blackwood. Uh, I have no clue. I'll try to look for the, uh, look for the maker, but I, I didn't find any information, so uh, I don't know. Uh, one last look of this uh, neglected uh, we sideboard and I'm gonna show you how uh, deep it is and uh, oh Jesus not easy and um, it's uh, 34 centimeters 13 and a half inches deep so it's very very not, no, not shallow deep, no uh, not too deep it's tiny and again one last look you could see the veneer it's really nice before we start taking apart and working on it and here we go Our next stop was uh, to remove this varnish uh, from this piece. So we uh, took this paint and varnish remover and took the sideboard outside. And uh, I'm going to show you just the process of cleaning this uh, top. Um, even though we've done the doors and uh, drawers as well, because it's just, just too much and it's all the same. So basically, uh, the reason why I took it outside because it's always work always better to work with chemicals and ventilated spaces but if you can just take it outside and uh, save you some inhalation of uh, nasty stuff and uh, try to always use the gloves and uh, basically avoid any skin on contact with any harsh chemicals so I spread it all over the top and I left it for I think it was 20 minutes to half an hour and uh, then I started to take it off and as you can see it got got really watery uh, I didn't expect that to be honest because sometimes different varnishes uh, react differently but that one went like really really watery so I took my usual tool to get rid of it but I was scared that I might scratch too much of the top so I swapped to basically paper towel and just wiped it all all off with a paper towel. And 
and when I was done with the removing the uh, leftovers uh, I took this white spirit or mineral, mineral spirit it depends where you're from and wiped the the whole piece uh, I mean the the top again to make sure that it's clean and uh, there's no more uh, varnish remover left on the top Our next stop was to uh, take the drawers apart and get them ready for cleaning and sanding. Uh, as um, probably you remember that I mentioned the, the smell uh, at the beginning of this video. So it was bad and we wanted to get rid of it. So the, the easiest way to us uh, is basically take everything about apart, sand it down and let the wood breathe for a, breathe for a a certain period of time and dry and uh, uh, smell will most mo in most cases will disappear if the smell is not disappeared we've got uh, smelling remove chemicals as well but in this instance it wasn't necessarily so he took the drawers apart and got them ready for sanding and uh, just like I said we uh, before we did remove the varnish from a uh, front as well but uh, I didn't make the video of it, just not to make it too much of the same stuff. So just a, a little bit of info uh, of, on sanding, uh, we started from 120 uh, grit and then we went uh, to 180. Uh, we didn't use any uh, lower grit because uh, the varnish was already removed so there was no need for that. But as you can see um, there, there were some dark spots and we thought that might be mold or something but it looked like it was um, done on purpose. It was some kind of paint, but uh, it was removed um, when we sanded it down. So as um, you will probably see in a minute, that the difference in between what it was before we start treating it to how it looked like before we will put the oil on is just unbelievable. And uh, I, to be honest, I wasn't sure whether we will be able to save the top, but I can I can give you a wee, little bit a little bit of a spoiler that yes, we did save the top, and uh, it, lo it it's looking like really nice now. And this is a quick look of the finish uh, sanding process. So the outside and inside were sanded as well, but just like slightly lightly sanded, not too deep. But the top is uh, 
well, it's looking amazing already. And again, we will paint the board outside and we will wax inside uh, of this unit and uh, both, cup both cabinets, cupboards, and we will paint the bottom to make it look really nice. And now it's time to apply Osmo oil. Uh, as always, we are using clear glossy because it really brings the color of the wood up. I don't know, it, you, you can really see that the colors are vivid and everything is really nice and, and shiny. A um, few things to remember, uh, thin coats uh, do not overall over, over load <laughs> your oil on wood. Um, first coat will be always absorbed like really quickly because the wood is uh, uh, dry and it will basically uh, you could s you, you will see that um, oil is going into wood basically straight away. Uh, I used uh, sponge in this case as you can see just 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 a normal sponge to apply my my layers. Um, make sure that you smooth out oil after you've done uh, your application so uh, everything is smooth nice and and shiny and there's no uh, weird marks um, we applied oil on uh, doors as you can see uh, fronts from from the drawers and uh, obviously the top um, of this uh, sideboard uh, uh, something else to remember as well, waiting time in between the coats, it depends on the maker, but I usually leave it overnight, so it's 8-10 hours, uh, sometimes even more, before, between the applications. And uh, before you apply next uh, layer, I always sand down lightly the previous one, but it's like really, really uh, light sanding with a steel wool to make sure that um, I will not remove the, the coat of oil that I already applied. Uh, and that's it. That's all that it is in oil application. Okay guys, so this is uh, a top after three layers of Osmo oil, but I'm not completely satisfied with the outcome yet. So I think I'm gonna do one more to make it really nice and shiny, smooth and shiny. And uh, I'll give you one last look when it's all done. Uh, I've secured the edges uh, with the tape and I'll be doing a painting now. So I've got Fusion Mineral Paint with Ash this time. And I've got my tray lined out with a, a kitchen foil and my roller and I'll be painting it. So get yourself ready. So now we're gonna paint, uh, well paint, apply wax on hardware. Uh, I had to dig out four bigger pulls from a previous piece that I've done and I've changed the hardware over there so I didn't need them, I kept them. I've got tons of uh, hardware that I don't, <laughs> don't, don't need. So the big ones, four big ones will go on the bottom drawers and the rest will stay in, it, in, it, in their place. 
So before wax, I've cleaned up uh, the hardware a bit to make sure that the wax will stay on the, on the, on the pieces and it's not going to come off. Uh, I did also apply wax, uh, the gold wax, on uh, edges of the drawers to make them pop a bit and I did a line on the bottom of the sideboard. So after we uh, done all the painting work and uh, waxing and sanding and everything, we put the piece back together and the last final job was to get the drawers back to whatever they were. As you can see they've been sanded and cleaned and waxed inside so they're looking really nice and this is the final look of a drawer. Last final look of finished. A sideboard. As you can see top looks amazing and you would not guess this is the same piece that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Uh, drawers inside refreshed, it waxed, ran smoothly, no more smell, it disappeared even though we didn't use any chemicals. And uh, that's it. All done. I hope you enjoyed our video and you subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up and basically you will support us in our work. Thank you very much. I'll see you next video. Bye bye.